<sighs> Whoa. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, hey guys, this is uh, Alex Sturgeon, Hobby Town Hobbyplex, and uh, we're here to do a What's New Wednesday on Wednesday. Um, we got on a bunch of stuff over the last two weeks. Uh, you can really tell that we're building up towards Christmas time. Um, you know, over the summer, we've already basically uh, stocked up our inventory on a lot of the RC side of things, but we're more than just an RC store. So, uh, first, we're going to start with RC stuff or maybe just workstation stuff. We got in these super rad new thick black pit, mat, uh, or pit mats. Yeah, like a pit mat. Okay. It's rubber. So it's not that um, yoga mat material. It's an actual rubber. Kind of reminds me of the old upgrade RC ones. Um, they're $27.99. They're big and they have a nice workspace. And then they have these little edges here so you can put parts and they won't go taken off. I'm pretty tempted to get one of these for my um, after hours room, you know, where we do that. Um, yeah, we only have a couple left because uh, we already sold a couple, but there you go. Isn't that cool? I think that's really neat. The Hobby Town logo is embedded in it. It's really cool. Okay, uh, uh, we've been racing minis, uh, Tiny Tuesdays. It's been fun, and uh, guys have already started to upgrade a lot of their cars. We do a, a, a Mini T mod and a Mini T stock class. Here's the new uh, Proline Axis ST body for your Mini T from uh, from Proline. And then here's some Mini T uh, MIP parts. So it's a uh, top shaft and either gear from MIP that's metal, a uh, new slipper setup, and then a ball diff. So you can make your minis go even faster than they already are, especially if you go to brushless. It's a pretty good idea to upgrade. Um, brushless really fast, and they like to do wheelies, and then they flip over and... You know, whatever. Um, I can't remember if I brought these on or what's new or not. So we've had them probably for about three weeks now. Uh, but they are the new um, Proline uh, Showtime front wheels and the uh, front runner skinny front tires. So I think I have shown them on here before, but uh, I couldn't remember. So I brought them back on here. That also coincides with this Drag Race Concepts skinny ultra lock front wheel. And uh, it goes along with their skinny front tires, I believe. It's like a beadlock, and it's it's a nice thin tire. Cause again, what do you need front tires for? Other than, uh, well, you don't really. I mean, you need them, but you know what I'm saying. Like you don't. You're not like. It's not like you're going through a slalom when you drag race, right? You're just barely turning. So, uh, whatever. Keep the weight down. Speaking of drag racing, we've had this now for a couple weeks, but I skipped it on the last What's New Wednesday. And then I looked at it afterwards after I uploaded it. I'm like, oh man, I forgot the DR28. So we got these little guys in. Believe it or not, there's already people making like carbon fiber chassis for these things. Uh, so drag racing is one of those things in our hobby that's blown up really fast. And uh, all the all the guys out there that can make stuff are, are like, hey, everybody's just giving their money to these guys. Let's get in on it. And then they make stuff. And then... We'll see if that lasts. Okay. I ordered these because I saw them available and I thought, you know, the 124 scale stuff, we've sold so many of those Axial 24 scales and everybody else kind of getting in on the game now. These are all hard body 118 scale crawlers and they have lights and detailed interior even. So the, uh, the chassis itself isn't really... Um, what you're looking at here, th these are going to sell and, and people are going to look for these because of the hard body and the detailed interior. So, uh, we are building a new 124 scale, uh, course. I actually started on it, uh, made pretty good progress yesterday and, uh, I'm not going to do a video on it until I'm done, uh, like a big reveal, but, uh, we'll be using these on it. Of course, the, the Axial SCX 24s, um, the, uh, Kyosho Mini Z. Uh, crawlers. Uh, I think RC four wheel drive's got a new uh, small crawler coming out or is out. And uh, yeah, but these this is really rad. And I'm actually I'm really shocked that nobody's actually bought one of these yet. These have been here for a week, and uh, the price isn't even that bad. These are all 150 bucks, um, just just barely above what the SCX 24 is, except that they're they got a hard body, right? Okay, uh, let's move on to some flying stuff. So we got in, this is new for this year. This is the uh, Flight Lab Toys Hovercross. And basically it's a hovercraft and then you can you can invert it and it's a drone, okay? Uh, this we've actually had in the past. It's one of our best selling uh, like toy drone uh, toys that we've had pretty much ever. 
and uh, they, they were actually out of these for most of the summer, which is kind of lame. Um, but we got them back in just in time for Christmas. We have a lot of these in stock, so um, more than likely we'll be out probably before Christmas. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully we get them back in. But uh, we got these back in, which is great. Uh, a couple new planes. So we got in uh, yesterday the Habu SS 70 millimeter EDF jet. So this is an upgrade to the uh, original Habu. And then this we've had for about a week or two. I actually think I missed it on the last What's New Wednesday again. I think it came in that day. Um, or it might have came in that night after we did it. Either way, I was like, oh man, there's another one I could have put on. So the uh, the RV7 uh, 1.1 uh, millimeter. I, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of tempted to get this for next year um, to add to my fleet. Um, there's a uh, another version that's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit more 3D, but uh, the price, I like the price on this guy. Okay, now we get into some stuff that I have, I have no idea how to pronounce or what it is, but I know it's all new. It's all new. This is this. So what happened was there was a ship out on the ocean full of Bandai and gunplay, right? Gundam and gunplay, whatever you want to call it. There's a whole ship of it, and then they just and then the ship just sat there for like the entire summer. So then all these places that were carrying Bandai were running out, and then all the Bandai guys were like. We're like, man, they're running. They don't have anything. They stink, whatever. But we're like, no, it's not our fault. We're waiting for this stuff to come in off the of back order. Yesterday, we got it all at once. We got it all at once. You have no idea how small our back room is, and it's filled to the brim of boxes of Gundam and gunplay. So we're getting through it right now. This is a major, not a majority. This is a tiny little, tiny little snippet of everything that we got. Okay. So gunplay, Bandai guys, you're good. Okay, come here, buy it all. We don't care, just, just, we got it. It really is here. A couple of these I'm afraid to touch because they're so expensive. I don't wanna like mess it up with my fingers or whatever. Uh, okay, this one's pretty cool looking. Uh, I hope I get the name. Is it Cybaster or Cybaster? I'm not sure, you know, uh, I'm sure somebody out there would tell me. Here's a uh, Pokemon carp. It, it's the Pokemon carp and uh, it's big and it's it's a it's a Pokemon carp. Um, here's another one. I just I picked this one for the video because it's gold and it's, it's big. Okay, and then this one right here, this is $47.99 and Evangelion Unit 08. I don't know what that is, but uh, I'm sure you guys out there that follow this stuff knows and it's 47 bucks. And then this one, I'm almost, I don't even know, should I touch it? I don't even know. This one's $120, but uh, it's red and he's got a big old gun. And um, yeah, pretty detailed. If you look at it here, look at all that. <laughs> it says gimmick and option. So it's a gimmick? I don't know, whatever. I'm sure that's a translation of some sort. Anyways. We got in a bunch of these. By the way, th th this one, this one's in the glass case. Sorry, guys. Okay, uh, enough of that. We got way more than this too. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to bring up. This, we could fill this whole table with Gundam. It's crazy. I saw this and I got really happy because there's nothing better than giving your your like twin boys or uh, brother and sister um, that are like six and seven and just don't like each other a a a a a cache of weapons for Christmas. So we've got uh, nunchucks, a uh, sword. Um, oh, I can't remember what those are called, but they're uh, Raphael used them in, in Ninja Turtles. And then look at this. You got this thing. You, it, it, you put it in there and you make a fist and you can like fight with it. Um, or they're like plastic claws. So uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever seen South Park. There's a whole, there's a whole, um, um, I think it's fun with weapons is the name of the episode. You should see that one. It's really funny. Butters gets hit in the eye with a Chinese flying star. It's really awesome. Okay, and then uh, I grew up with G.I. Joes, so when I saw this, I was like, no way. This, this is kind of like a G.I. Joe-ish sort of thing. But uh, uh, we got a couple of these. There's a Marine Force Recon. There's also an Army group over there. Um, but these are kind of like G.I. Joes, kind of. Look at that guy's face right there. He's like, yeah. Or, oh, I don't know. Uh, but a code name, Striker, TJ, Tank, Cannon, and Grunt. 
and uh, you got a little mortar right here and a bazooka and an actual assault rifle um, with a grenade launcher. They all got helmets. And then to go along with it, you can get a Hummer setup. Hum, hum V, whatever you want to call it. And uh, another guy in there. And then, a, uh, what is that? That's a, I can't remember what that's called. An AIM? Is it an AIM? I think it's an AIM. AIM missile? I don't know why I know that, but I do. Anyways, I thought that was really neat. That's really cool. That's something new for us this year. And uh, yeah, so there's our, there's our weapons category of tonight's uh, What's New Wednesday. Here's some more game stuff. Uh, hey, speaking of Ninja Turtles, so it's the world's coolest, not just the world's smallest. This is Leonardo. There was uh, Leonardo, uh, Raphael, um, uh, Michelangelo, and Donatello. And I uh, actually named my, some of my cats after Ninja Turtles. Also, one of the hardest Nintendo games of all time, the original Nintendo game, was the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, whatever. Uh, here's a little mini arcade, Whack-A-Mole. It actually turns on, and then you can play it. And then a skee-ball. This is new for us. Ooh, need some of that. That's pretty neat. Oh, wait. Oh, how do you play? Oh, 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 wait. Why didn't it go? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then all-time classic. Right? So if you, uh, let's say that um, you've got a nephew or something and he's not your kid and, uh, and uh, you want to uh, make sure that he annoys his parents when, after you leave for Christmas, you're not there, buy this. This is great. Um, they'll do that in the middle of the night. Uh, this is a blockchain pre-pack assortment. It's like a puzzle, like a puzzle game. Got a whole bunch of these in. Um, I think they're pretty popular too. Um, linked brain teasers. And then the mystery fidget box. Okay, so you open this up and there's like a whole bunch of different things in there to play with and to fidget with. And... Uh, um, We've actually sold a bunch of these to like some racers, kids and racers, uh, uh, significant others and stuff while they're sitting there waiting for their other, you know, for their husband or, or wife or, you know, dad or whatever to, uh, to get done playing with RC cars. They sit there and play with fidget spin, you know, spinners and not just spinners, but there's other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, six plus it's 20 bucks. There's actually a whole bunch of stuff in this box for 20 bucks. And, uh, we started out with like a full rack of that, of this stuff, and we're down to like half. So if you want to get one of those, probably should get in here and get it. Um, I saw this. This is pretty cool. Basketball ball pit. It's twenty four ninety nine. So you want your toddler to, to have something to do. Um, it's kind of a neat thing. Twenty soft air filled balls included. So, see, I think it's cool. Uh, I, I just grabbed this because I thought it was neat that we have an actual. Snow globe. This is glass and and plastic, I guess. I don't know what that is, but it's a dollar ninety nine, one ninety nine. So an actual snow globe. That's pretty neat. And then uh, incredible inflato aero dancer. You can make your own. I just thought that this was really cool um, because uh, I don't know. I it's just funny to me that you can make one of these guys. And have it there. What is this? 16 bucks. Another good Christmas present. And finally, I got this because I was thinking of my wife and how much she hates bugs. And I thought, how great would it be if I bought this and uh, hid these around the house? And so when she was uh, going to do stuff and she stumbled upon one of these guys or two of these guys just sitting there, that uh, she would kind of freak out. I just think that'd be really funny. This is uh, $22.99. These are hex bugs. I believe that they actually crawl. Like you turn them on and they go across the thing. So got a whole bunch of these. Yeah, see, look right here. See, they know what's up. Scare your friends and family. <laughs> they know what's going on. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, Here's a fun one. Um, yeah, we just keep on getting new stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys are coming in and uh, getting rid of Christmas and buying stuff. It's only like five weeks away. So 
maybe even more than that. Like, is it closer than that? I thought it was seven the last time, so it would be five. Yeah, almost five weeks away. So get in here and get her done. Um, make sure that you subscribe, like, tell your friends. Uh, check out our uh, live shows on Mondays and sometimes on Thursday nights. And, uh, of course, we make videos uh, throughout the week. I hope you guys saw the Omox video that I did um, that I got uh, posted finally yesterday. So should be really good. See you guys later.